Dragon Ball Super Episode 75 might only be a fun pre-arc episode for most fans, but for me, it was a ray of hope. Hope that non-Saiyan characters who has a lot of depth like Krillin, Tien, Roshi and others might get some relevancy in DBS. What a badass of a wife Android 18 is. Krillin getting even slightly hurt by a bullet was messed up. You know exactly why, but 18, instead of giving the typical, it's okay, I love you the way you are bullshit, totally fired up Krillin, saying, the man I fell in love with was not such a spineless weakling. <laughs> he even gets roasted by Marin, ultimately leading him to train with Goku. However, all this didn't hit him instantly. His purpose was still very laughable. He was actually thinking that he needs to power up for his police job, which is again a roast-worthy mentality for someone who could pretty much destroy the art. This is where the episode gets interesting, as we see Krillin's mind changing as he progresses with the training. After not being able to keep up with a power-restricted Goku, Krillin finally realizes that he just needs to become stronger, that he needs to become a fighter again, a martial artist, not necessarily for his cop job, but just for the sake of who he is and he is someone who grew up training and is still considered as the strongest artling as confirmed by a recent preview. He is a guy who was the first to cut off Frieza's tail and did buy a lot of valuable time for them. He is the guy who was Goku's first training partner. For a normal human, he does have a lot under his belt. You got to love this scene when Krulen being frustrated was up midnight. What 18 and Marin said and the day's training started hitting him slowly. I like the little motivational and technical speech Master Roshi gave. It was good to hear Roshi identify genuine fighting problems as he points out it's Krulin's lack of belief and confidence that affects his footwork and moves. This sequence also highlights the inner fire lighting up in Krillin ahead of the Universal Tournament of Power. Krillin is in the Universe 7 team and in the poster we see him in his classic look. The story of this episode will continue on episode 76 as Goku and Krillin face their enemy from the past. Even Tambourine is there. Who was the first to kill Krillin back in Dragon Ball? You know that this is just an illusion sequence, so the opponents who they fear the most are appearing, not necessarily powerful ones only. Ultimately, I think Krulan will overcome his fears and defeat them all alongside Goku. This is more of a Krulan's mental battle and Goku has only a little to do with that. The reason I think DBS is going to make Krulan relevant is that they were planning this for a while now. This little story? has been hinted on two occasions earlier on. Firstly, during the battle against Frieza when Krulin was feeling nervous in the beginning, but did just fine. Secondly, when Krulin asked Goku to punch him and we got some flashbacks. Again, he doesn't need to come closer to Goku's level to be relevant. He wasn't that strong in DBZ and yet in the first two arcs, he had major roles. Similarly, with his superior skills, he can still play some important roles in Super. Anyways, I think after this Paradise Grass segment, Krillin will get his confidence back, shave his hair, and start training daily, ultimately going into the Tournament of Power with that classic look. Krillin is there in the latest Universal Survival Arc trailer, also mentions that Krillin as the strongest Earthling. So, I am wondering if Krillin will have something interesting to do in the tournament. Overall, episode 75 was enjoyable, the animation quality of DBS is getting consistent, the fight choreography was stunning, especially the short Goku vs Saiyaman sparring. Again, I must mention Android 18 was the show stealer for me, she perhaps changed Krillin with what she said. 
Last episode it was hashtag respect widow. Well, for 75 it is hashtag respect 18. These wives are really on the top of their games. Well, that's about all for now. Make sure to check out my Universal Survival or Trailer reaction. There are some really interesting things there like a Lady Broly so you don't want to miss that. See you in the next Dragon Ball Super video.